love bugs as well as back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed today i'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you if this is your first time coming to my channel welcome namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are yet to come for you and if you have not already please like and subscribe hit the notification bell and so you'll know when i'm about to upload my next video and if you feel comfortable, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get the positive feedback. And if you feel like you resonate with my video, please give me a thumbs up and share if you feel free. Oh, great to be appreciated also. And for my returning subs, as always, much love to you. Love and namaste. Love and light. Love and blessings. And many blessings are yet to come for you. My video today is about Twin Flame 101 my gift is my greatest blessing my gift is my greatest blessing i'm listening to 417 hertz stop bad vibes from the past and trap ne negativity uh ne negative energy and stop unwanted thoughts and patterns which is a very good thing because we we do that a lot and it was like living in a life where all I did is think negative. You know, I'm just like, oh, you know, this is gonna be my life, this is whatever. And when you can look back at your past and look out at how many things you've been through and how many things you conquered, that is a blessing. And sometimes it's hard for us to realize how strong we are until we have to look at the things when strength is all you have. And going through all this has been my greatest gift. You know, like I said, if you, you've been through with me from the beginning, from a year ago, you know, I was, I, I've, I've evolved a lot. I really have changed. Um, and I really, um, I feel like I've changed for the better. You know, I have my moments where, you know, I feel like life is unfair. You know, um, I go to people and, you know, see if they can help me out. And they're saying there's not enough evidence and, you know, things that, you know, that will discourage you. But there's always a reason for the things that happen. You know, I keep making my videos and I'm making myself known to the world, you know. Even though they might, you know, certain people that I come across might not help me, but they know my story. And they're like, oh my gosh, this sounds crazy. You can't, you know, it doesn't even sound believable, but it is. So it, it's just like, I'm going to keep pushing. You know, I'm not going to give up, you know, and it, it's just like my, my problems are not as big as my blessings. And I say that a lot in my videos, my problems are never bigger than my blessings, because even though I might be getting rejected, I know God got something a lot better for me. You know, I, I know I got a lot of good blessings in store because I would be going as much hell as you know I possibly can and it's just like when you tell God that you this is what you really want you know they're gonna put you to a test to see how much are you gonna really want because I, I've lived my life where things got hard and I gave up and don't know where it could have taught could have took me and I'm very grateful for that you know I show gratitude every day anytime you go through things and, you know, even on your worst days, just give gratitude because it's just like, you know, some people don't live to see the next day. You know, people are going through different, you know, trials and tribulations. You know, I talked to a friend of mine today and she lost her mom and it reminded me so much of me and myself when I was spiraling. You know, I, I, I'm not saying she was doing it, but I drank a lot. I had pot pills. I want to numb whatever pain that I had. You know, seeing a parent dying, you know, seeing them, you know, my mom had body cancer on top of, of aneurysm, fluid around her heart, um, tumors that could not be removed from her brain. If they did, she'll die instantly. She, you know, her body cancer was so bad that, you know, if I was to clean her off her, her skin would fall off, you know, and I had to deal with all these things and I had to, you know, didn't want to remember her that way. I wanted to remember her as, 
you know, laughing and having a good time. Even though we didn't have the best relationship in the world, it went out with a bang. You know, and I used to be angry with God about that. Like, why would you, you know, I, I go through so much abuse from my mom, but it was like my dad turned my mom against me. And it was like she, we were both hurting at the same time, and that was the only way we can show our our affection. And when I can look back at it now, I know what she's, you know, I'm basically going through the same thing she went through. You know, with my uh, ex, like she's the one, she did with her ex-husband. And, you know, and I can see through her eyes what pain she felt. But the thing is, I'm not going to let this beat me. I'm not. You know, when my mom, she, you know, she did what she had to do. And I understood it. You know, she was a very strong woman. And... You know, listening to my spirit guides, and I listen to my grandmother Maddie. She tells me I remind me, remind me, I remind her of myself a little bit because I'm a little bit stubborn. But she says, you know, you know, you get mad, you never give up. And when you're on your journey, my story is going to continue to be told. You know, people need to know what happened. You know, people know one side of my dad. You know, many different sides of my dad. It just depends on how you met him or how he's in your circle. But it was just. I felt like there was a thing when we communicated, it was something that nobody wasn't able to connect to like we were. And I felt that that's very special to me. So, you know, my gift, even though it was so traumatic, um, I, I know I'm, I'm getting through this, you know, I'm letting things go, you know, it, it was just the hardest thing to let go was knowing what my parents, you know, not my parents, but my adopted dad and my stepmom had done. And that was a hard pill to swallow, but it happened. And I know I, I had to forgive them, you know, and it, it took me back to a, a YouTube video I watched where I guess there was this man's son, um, he was Arabic, and uh, I guess the guy was black. No, he was Hispanic. That's what it was. And his son was a pizza delivery guy. And he, he killed his son. He went up to the guy who murdered his son and gave him a hug and said he forgave him. And the guy just cried. And he's looking at me like, I just killed your son. How can you forgive me? And it, it's just, he said, I, it's not in my will to do that. You know, it, when it's your time, it's your time. So I can't spend my energy on being mad when there's nothing that can be changed about that you know and I know I, I, I've been looking at a lot of videos and coming across a lot of things as where it's telling me I need to let go so I did that and for being having a gift like that and being able to make videos and let people know all these different things, you know, learning more about myself, you know, because there's so many things we don't learn about ourselves until we are by ourselves and we go through traumatic things. We get to learn more about things about a, about ourselves that we were not even sure of that could be surreal and could be shocking. But I'm not trying to hold you up today. And I was just like, you know, you know, I was like, you know, your gift is your, you know, your things that you go through is your blessing because it has um, taught you a lot so and you learn many lessons about that and if you haven't you know you need to wake up so I'm not trying to hold you up today I hope everybody has a prosperous weekend be safe and be responsible at everything you do and I will talk to you on my next video peace and be wild drop a comment or two give me a thumbs up over it would be appreciated and even share my video i greatly appreciate it more the merrier i love to have more new extended family so bye next time much love peace and namaste